Today, before we start, I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about my new glasses that I got from Firmo. Okay, so if you like them as much as I like them, you could get them for less than $39. And for all my subscribers, you could get them with 20% off if you uh, take the code in my bio. So today, I want to show you a nice fabric manipulation done with circle. You could do it with a soft fabric or even stiffer fabric. So I will show you how to make your little tool and how to sew it. Okay, so now we do the little tool that we need to do the circle. So you take a little piece of, a little stripe of cardboard and you're going to trace you're going to trace a line with the diameter you want your uh, circle to be. For the one I show you, I use a 6 centimeter diameter. So I'm going to mark only one side. You could do both also. One side I need at 3 cm. And you're going to use your awl and point the first and the second hole. So since we're going to need a lot of circle for the manipulation, I fold my, my fabric many times, like four times. So I have eight layers at the time, but it's a thin fabric, so I'll be easy, easy to cut anyway. And you're going to take your little tool, make sure that half diameter fits on the top part and half diameter fits also on the side. Then you're going to take your awl and just trace your circle then you move your tool and make sure you have again half the diameter on one side and half the diameter on top and trace and you repeat as many times as you wish or as you need So now I'm going to place one pin in the middle of each circle and cut all around. So it is better to do to treat your fabric before to cut your pattern piece and assemble. But for this one, I'm going to do on the existing bustier, and I'm going to find the middle line because it's nice to have a center pattern. So with the chalk, you're going to trace the center line. And right away decide which level you want to put your circle at. And so I'm going to start right on top like that. And I'm going to mark the bottom of it. You could do another two and indicate a second reference. It's, so it's nice to know that they're going to be aligned once in a while. So I'm going to trace across both line 90 degree and we go sew the little circle on so to place the first row of circle you're going to find the middle of your circle and just place it next to the line then you have the the line the trace line 
that you could use to guide your seam. You do the same thing for the other one all the way down. So for all the following rows, you fold the, the one that is sewn and you place your next circle about the width of the foot inside because you're going to stitch at the width of the foot from the first line. So you go like that on each circle, a little bit off from the first one. So I hope you enjoy. Here's the final product. Uh, it needed uh, 55 circle for the middle row and maybe another 30 for the uh, straight side here. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I see you next time.